Hello, I am putting this video together as a alert on a company called Window Design Group out of Simi Valley, Simi Valley uh, California. Uh, in our case, they've been doing business in Southern California. Um, this is hopefully something that you'll find if you're looking to do business with this company. They install shutters and blinds and that type of thing. Uh, we've had uh, some extremely frustrating issues with this company and I, I think uh, if you are thinking about doing business that you should uh, look at the contents of this video. Um, Without getting into all the details, what we found after having some extremely uh, difficult issues in terms of uh, them taking our deposit and never showing up and not being able to give us a date of installation, etc., uh, we've called and tried to get a, a date that the installation would happen, and it's always it just seems to be uh, six to eight weeks out, even though it's already been uh, well over two months since we placed the the order and, and had given the deposit. Um, but the things that you'll want to know is that if you do a search for Window Design Group, uh, what you'll see if you click on their website and you go to uh, Company About Us is you'll find their license number. And if you look up that license number, which I'm going to do, and if you uh, type in California Contractors License Lookup and you go to that website, and over here on the right, if you enter in their contract number and do a search, uh, what you'll find, and we were astonished by this, is that their license is under suspension and it gives the reasons for that having to do with uh, workers' comp, but you can see that it's been um, it's been expired for uh, well over six months at this point, closer to eight or nine months, uh, which is clearly an issue. Now, we received a letter regarding uh, them not being able to do the installation. Um, I'm pulling that up now and you can see that it's very generic. It just says uh, due to unforeseen circumstances in our factory we're unable to complete your order on time and it says that the situation could result in a 7 to 12 working day delay. Well it's been well past 12, 12 working days and again there's no indication uh, from uh, the customer service representative that we talked to of, of when the installation could actually take place. But here's what's interesting. There's actually a separate license number of 593738. So if we go back, and that's 593738. You'll see that that's uh, the same address as before. And you'll see that this one has also expired. So essentially what, what I'm saying here is that the company seems to not have a valid license, which is uh, extremely concerning. But what's even worse is if you go to Google and you type in BBB for Better Business Bureau Wendell Design Group and you click on uh, the information on the BBB's website, you'll see that this company is actually revoked. And what that means is that they're not even accredited any longer with uh, the BBB, which is you know a, a red flag in and of itself. And if you go down here, you'll see that there has been uh, actually yesterday there was four complaints, and now it's saying that there's three. But at any rate, there's been a number of complaints within the last 12 months. Um, I myself have uh, submitted uh, these types of complaints to uh, the Better Business Bureau, and, it, and it's a really big deal. You, in a lot of cases, actually have to have a lawsuit pending against the, the company to even get a complaint to show up. So if, if you find a company with any uh, actual complaints on the BBB, that's a huge red flag. And this company has three. I checked yesterday and it was four. Um, and even more importantly than that, they've been revoked from the Better Business Bureau. So there's not even a, a rating that they have. Um, so at any rate, if you are watching this, uh, what I'm hoping is that this you'll uh, be able to uh, uh, avoid some of the the issues that we've had working with this company. Um, basically what we've done at this point is we've uh, given a deposit. I'm actually, and actually I'm creating this, this video for uh, my mother-in-law who's a 70 year old woman who's been taken advantage of by this company. Um, they've basically taken her deposit and uh, given absolutely no indication of when the shutters will be installed. But worse, worse than that, um, we don't even know how we can have anyone from this company come in our house and do work as a result of the fact that they don't have a license, which is um, a whole other story. Uh, the other thing is when we talked to the customer service representative, we demanded to talk to the owner because we were getting nowhere with that person. And what we were told is that it's a corporation and there's no one available to talk to. They 
eventually, after uh, you know quite a bit of arguing, indicated that they would pass our our file onto management, and we have not heard back from them. So it's just got went from from bad to worse. Uh, bottom line here is you want to absolutely avoid this company uh, at all costs. Um, at any rate, if you have found this video helpful, uh, please like it on YouTube just to uh, make sure that it uh, shows up in search rankings so that it will hopefully uh, help other people avoid the same problems that we've had. Thank you.